Morning guys, YouTube, people, world. Anyway, uh, half fast back out here. Finally got some sun out here. Clouds and snow are upon us. Anyway, uh, if you haven't already, I mean, if you would like to, subscribe to my channel. Um, getting me motivated. Uh, I was getting pretty motivated when I was climbing up in subscribers. And uh, basically got to 1,630 and uh, topped off. Haven't gotten any new subscribers. It's like I get some subscribers and then they fall off. And I haven't really been motivated to do videos because uh, lack of subscribers. So anyway, hit that subscribe button. Help me out. Get me back motivated to work on this truck. So my kid got home yesterday from work. We tinkered with his his truck for a little bit. And uh, yeah, then uh, I wanted to clean up my garage and get rid of the truck bed. So what we did was we put it on here. So it's pretty much where it's going to sit. Ouch. Because the, uh, the back of the truck is on airbags. So that's not ride height right there. That's, you know, basically parked parking height I guess you can call it so and I wanted the bed line so I don't know if you can see it but I wanted this this line here to line up with that bed line so um, it looks like before the bed was up a little maybe not let's say maybe it was the bed was up a little bit higher like up into here um, I'm thinking that's where the bed was so I dropped the bed about four inches lower than the cab so anyway this is what we got so as you can see up there in the front I am gonna have to widen the bed so I marked this out the black mark for uh, wheel wells so the black mark on the blue tape is the shape of the wheel well I guess that I'm gonna be doing because I tried to go off of from right there I tried to go up but I'd have to be at the top of the bed if I followed that line so Anyway, this is where it's going to have to sit. Um, obviously, I'll square it all up. I'll have to take the bed off again to cut my lines. And uh, once I figure out cutting the lines, I'm probably going to have to widen the bed a little bit. Because as you can see, the bed is wider or farther out than the cab um, but not in the rear so it kind of tapers tapers that way flares up towards the front so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this in the center this support here so I'm gonna cut this support and what I'll do is I'll I'll weld in a two inch piece of uh, sheet metal I'll probably gusset it with a quarter inch plate inside. Quarter inch, you know, probably like four inches this way, four inches that way. So it'll be like a total of a uh, six inch piece of plate or eight inch piece of plate welded in there for support, for strength. And then uh, from there, uh, what I'll do is I'll wrap it with the same sheet metal, uh, basically. I'll have a void, a two inch void. I'm thinking it's gonna be two inches. It might be four inch wider. So I'll take that and I'll wrap it with some steel. Just follow the same shape of this with some sheet metal. And uh, we should be good. So, but yeah, as you can see, it's, uh, let's see. 
the wheels. The wheels are touching right here and they're rubbing pretty good right here. Let's see. Right there. And I've never, haven't looked up there. So you guys will be the first to see up there. So they had these little supports in here. These supports went basically somewhere in here from the bed, from the fender to the bed. So we took those off yesterday to get this on here. I do actually, before I start making any cuts, I actually would like to move the bed back about two inches. Move it back about two inches and then because uh, I think I want to move the cab back about two inches because if you can see my tire line right there um, or I don't know yet I don't I don't really know um, I might go inch back maybe on the on the cab go an inch back and then we'll just go an inch back here but as you can see we have about an inch between the bed and the cab um, but anyway, so and then, you know, once I get the bed figured out, the width of the bed, I'll, uh, make supports on the bed, obviously. So, I'll take some angle iron, either weld it or rivet it to here. Weld it to, weld it or rivet it to basically probably even this line. And then that'll be, that'll probably be my bed height is here to here. Angle iron there, angle iron all the way around. Um, and then uh, I'll end up doing like three, maybe two supports. Um, but yeah, I don't know yet. Uh, and I have to square up these. I want to square these up because I just plasma cut them. So anyway, just put the bed on to try to get uh, motivated. To get working on this thing but I need uh, some subscribers to get me motivated um but yeah so uh yeah I don't know back out there traveling the road kind of a uh, weird I'm just staying in my car not staying in hotels because <sighs> trying to save money so that I can have money to spend on uh, some stuff um, yeah, some stuff. So, anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Make sure you guys give me a like. You guys subscribe if you could. Help me out. Get motivated to start getting this thing done. Because it's, it's almost about springtime. And, uh, if my Audi's out there on the road, um, I might be able to bring this truck into the garage and start welding. Uh, once I get everything mocked up where it needs to be, I got to take the cab off, finish the firewall, um, and uh, yeah, run wires. I got to run wires, figure out all the wiring inside the cab. Everything's there because it's from the old chassis, but uh, and then we could start working on everything else. Um, the drive shaft will be, need to be rewelded and balanced. Um, I got to order a couple u-joints so yeah but i'll call a drive shaft company first to see if uh if it's cheaper to buy a whole new drive shaft shortened or if it's better to get this one rewelded and uh put new joints in it yeah so i don't really know yet so anyway you guys tell me what you guys think Project Crack Pipe coming back. Gotta subscribe. Gotta subscribe, people. Get me motivated. Get working on this thing. Um, yeah, that's about it. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. Comment. Subscribe. 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 Thank you for subscribing if you have. Alright, guys. Later.